Good morning, dear friends and lovers of freedom. Good morning, viewers all over the world. Uh, my name is Nwada Ugochinyere. And uh, this morning, I want us to deliberate on something so important. And that thing is what our leader, Mazin Namdekan, said on Sunday, on Sunday night during his broadcast. He said that IPOB, I mean, sorry, that we have uh, our, our men on ground, which are the mem uh, personnel of the ESN, they are fighting four different enemies, four different enemies. And you know that any army that is fighting two enemies at the same time is really not easy. Talk more of four. And are these four different enemies that we are talking about, who are they? They are not foreigners. They are not people from other countries. There are people within, people in this, this same Biafra land with us. The first people are the Nigerian army, the Nigerian soldiers. They are the first um, enemies that we are fighting. And they are fighting us with the might of the federal government. They are fighting us with the might of our governors. They are fighting us with the might of our various politicians, be you senator, uh, House of Representatives, whatever you are, as long as you are a Biafran, you are aiding the killing and the murder, murder of your own people through the Nigerian army. They are fighting us with all their mercenaries, all their arsenals deployed. You see? So this um, Nigerian army, they are not just even fighting based on the federal government or the state government or the local government might, they are also fighting us with intelligence and support of Britain. And yet we are strong. That is why Befra is a spirit. The second people are the Nigerian police. The Nigerian police are also doing the same thing the Nigerian army are doing. They are doing the same thing they are also killing our people. The third people are the, uh, the Nigerian, uh, the Zoo Ful, uh, Fulani headsmen. Those that, that those foreigners that came from Sahel, from Niger, from Senegal, these people are also fighting us. And, and the Nigerian army, the Nigerian police are aiding them. Now, who are the last people? The last people that are fighting us are the Efulefus. Who are these Efulefus? If you are a governor, if you are a senator, if you are any kind of in any kind of political power in Biafra land, and you are keeping quiet, you are supporting the killing of your people. When they kill Biafrans, you don't say anything. When they murder our 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 brothers, our sisters, our mothers, our fathers, you don't say. You keep quiet. They kill our children, innocent children. You keep quiet. But when they kill Hausa, when they kill Fulanis in Biafra land, you will come out to defend them. You are an Eflif, and you are one of the people, enemies we are suffering from. Imagine the incident that happened yesterday in Douglas. It is not up to two seconds that this attack started. The governor of Imo State sent in troops to come and protect the houses and Fulanis that are in Douglas, Douglas Road. But why is it that Fulani herdsmen will invade a community, a village, and kill thousands of people? They will raid the community for complete one hour, two hours, three hours. There will be no police. There will be no army. No nothing, no security to come and protect that community. Why is it so? Why is it so? This is the question that everybody needs to ask these, our, 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 our so-called politicians. We need to ask them questions. We need to sit them down and ask them, why is it that within a second that the attack by a non-government at Douglas Road started within a second, troops are, even the interview I watched from BBC 
pigeon uh, page. They were interviewing houses. They said that the security has been there since one week ago. Since one week ago. But why? But okay, let's use our people in the north as an example. If the northerners are, if the Fulanis are instituting um, violence against evils in the north, how many police or army do go there to secure them? How many? If they want to kill us in the north, they will kill us with clean sheets. There's in, in football, there's what is called clean sheets. They will kill us in clean sheets. 4 0, 5 0, 10 0. They will kill like 10 people and no house or person will be killed. If they see come down to our own land, they will still kill us in clean sheets. Nobody will answer for it. Why is it so? This is a good, a very big question and deep question we need to ask our politicians. Is it that they have sold us out? How, they should tell us how much they sell us, how much? And for how long are we going to remain in this bondage? How, for how long? I like, like, for how many years are we going to stay like this? That people were killed in Ibarim in, in Anambra states. Full and headsmen walking on barefoot. They were not with helicopter. They were not with any vehicle. They just came into a village and cleared people, killed children. And no security personnel intervened. Are you telling me that there is no checkpoint in that area? Is that what they are telling us? There's no police station. There's no army barrack. But if it um, if it's uh, uh, IPOB now, they will deploy all deployable, even non-deployable, they will deploy all of them within a second. Within a second, they will deploy them. Okay, now, uh, uh, there's, some, there's something um, uh, uh, Baribe, engineer Baribe says sometimes, two laws are guiding Nigeria. You as a uh, non an you committed a crime and you were punished even severely punished, even over punished. This I was uh, not gonna commit the same crime, but not he goes scot free. Instead of him, instead of him to even punish him, they will even give him rewards on, on top of it, give him amnesty, send him abroad and, and, and his family abroad for scholarship or recruit them in the army. Why is this so? Why is this so? Why are, why is it that our brothers, our sisters? People we elected into power to go there and speak for us, to be our spokesperson, our eyes, our ears, and everything. They are turning back to betrayals. What is it that they are giving these people? I beg, which soap did they cut for these people? Did they, which kind of soap did they cut for them? Now, everything I want to ask, what are they giving them to eat? Why is it that whenever we they, they are elected, in, once they are elected into power, they will give their own people out to be killed? to be destroyed. Tomorrow, who is going to elect you? And what is even in their mind when they are aiding these killers? What is in their mind? Are they trying to say that these people that elected them are fools or they don't deserve to live or they are more, less important to their positions or to their wealth? What are they trying to say? So this is a deep, it's very, very, it, 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 it breaks my heart. It breaks my heart so much to see our people being killed. Our mothers, our fathers. Okay, look at the death of uh, uh, um, late Ikonso. What is his crime? What was his crime? What? That he is protecting the our people. He is protecting his mothers, his sisters that are being raped, his mothers that are being killed while they go to farm, his fathers and brothers, he is protecting them against Fulani. This is the only reason that they killed him. Why is it that Boko Haram leader, Boko Haram and Mieti Allah, they are still working free. They are even campaigning to own uh, um, to own ranches in our communities, in our states. Why is it so? Why is it so? Why is it so? All the uh, uh, our uh, elected officials in Southeast or South South, whatever it is called. What I know is as long as you're in, in Biafra land and you are keeping quiet while your people are being killed, you are keeping quiet. Just know that you are in the list of a that are giving out their children and their 
people out to Fulani health, to Fulani Oliga, to Fulani Nigeria. Just know that. Don't forget that one day, one day it will be your end. One day you will live either by peace or by pieces. And when you leave, is your children are here? They are going to stay. Your generation will stay to so far whatever thing you have planted for them. They will reap all of them. They will reap all of them. How can a uh, 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 hundreds of innocent children be killed in Anambra State? And the Anambra government governor have not said anything up to now. He has not. Even if he say anything, why did he not send security the same way he would rush to send security to, to kill IPOB members who are doing a, a, a meeting who, or who are conducting prayers? The same way he would send security to go and track them, kill them, arrest them, do that, that. Why is it that he did not send us security to go and investigate the killings of those innocent children yesterday? They were, their heads were beheaded. What is, what is more annoying? Like, what is more annoying than seeing, seeing such gory events? What is more annoying in this country? What is the least that they can do? What is it? My heart is, my heart is bleeding. In fact, I am very, very, very annoyed this morning. Yesterday, when I saw this, this, um, this very, very event, I thought, I did not believe that this kind of thing can happen in the East. I did not believe. And they took the advantage that we were mourning the death of a consul to strike. And it's, if you can see this, is a well planned, is a well planned structure. The structure in a way that once they kill a consul, will be mourning. Then they will strike. That is exactly what they did. And I asked, how long? How long? The security, the insecurity rampaging in, 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 in East today is the doings of the politicians. It is their doings that checkpoints are being attacked, barracks are being attacked, various government facilities are being attacked today. It is because of their failure to, uh, to help their citizens while they live bogusly life. They live in good health. When they want to take uh, get medical attention, they go abroad. They send their children abroad to school. Why we are here? We that elected them are here suffering. They are the reason why people, uh, 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 unknown government has surfaced. And I, I am begging unknown government to please locate all these governors, all these politicians. Please, you people should please locate all of them. They need to, their head needs to roll. They need to feel the pain. The pain of losing a loved one. They need to feel the pain of the death of innocent children. Children that is not up to two, three years. They need to feel the pain. If we, or if they, they could keep quiet, they could keep calm. Now that we need them most, they will never speak. And these are all aflevels. They are in the list of aflevels, and we must treat them, treat them all as such. Okay, look at all of them were shouting, uh, prison facilities, or this, that, that, or police checkpoint. Though. They are only afraid of their own lives. That's all. These guys are so selfish. They are too selfish to the last. They are only concerned about their own selves. And that is why they initiated Ebu Bago. I've said it before. Ebu Bago is only initiated to protect them, the so-called governors and politicians. They, in, they initiated it for themselves, not for you and I. Why is it that all this why Fulani has been killing, Fulani has been killing, they did not initiate Ebu Bago. Immediately, ESN came in. Immediately, unknown government started attacking them. That is when they now remembered that they're supposed to initiate a security outfit for themselves. Where is the Ebu Bago? Where, is the Ebu Bago? Where was the Ebu Bago when Fulani and men went to Anambra? to kill innocent children, behave their heads, cut off their heads from the neck. Where were they? Where, where is the Ebubago? Where is it? They are in the, in the governor's house, securing him. They are with the senator, securing them. So, that they, so they don't want to die. They don't want to die, but they are watching their children. Their little, their, their people dying every day. They don't want to die. They love their life so much. So, 
Ebubago was initiated for their own selfish security. They just want to secure themselves, that's all. They don't trust the army or police anymore. They now went and bring in idiots to come and, uh, and secure them. But they, they have failed. They have failed because even the Bible said that there is no peace for the wicked. They are wicked, even they are over wicked. They are more than wicked. And there will be no peace for them in whatsoever form. They, they would never have peace. They would okay. Look at Wiki. Wiki has bringing, you know, his initial Kragrana. He has bring he heard that a non government ambushed some uh, uh, this thing, some soldiers, armies, and all that in various communities in the in River State, in River State. Before you know it, he has deployed um, uh, 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 army. If you go to Obibo now, it's no go area now. Obibo is no go area. Obibo is the people that should suffer. But the attack did not happen in Obibo. It happened somewhere along over a Potakot Express Road. Very, very far. Very, very far from Obibo. But what is what is security? Nigerian army, soldiers, what are they doing in Obibo? What are they doing there? What exactly are they doing there? They are looking for another people to kill, another set of Igbos to kill them. That's what they are trying. They want to instigate Igbos against their Igbo brothers and against other other people. They want to make sure that that there is big boundary between us and them. But they have failed. They have failed woefully. The Chukwuke government that we serve will not let their plans to work. And please, every day, please, if there's nothing. Even if it is in your mind, always speak. Speak for unknown government. Speak for ESN. Speak for every IPOB member. Tell Chukwuke Kabema to protect them. We've, we, we lost somebody yesterday, the Abiyanot local government coordinator. He died in their barracks. Mazikalu Yukalu. He they kidnapped him. From the torture and everything, he died. Someone also was kidnapped yesterday. Same post coordinator. He was kidnapped. Same yesterday. What is their crime? That they, they are looking for, for, for freedom. What is it that Nigerian, Nigerian government so much value the integration of Nigeria to the death of its citizen? Why? Is it by force that someone will remain in a country? Where is it in, a, in their constitution as you must do or die of is a do or die affair. Where is it? Why is that they so much love the integration of Nigeria to the death of their own citizens? But they will use their head. They are, they are next. They, they will be next. Because if we've not if if their heads are not rolling very soon, you will see that very soon they will turn us all into imbecile. We won't have the say anymore. We won't have a say anymore in this country. We, we don't even have. We don't have. Today, now, when you grant an interview to somebody, they will ban you. They will ban your TV station. They will ban your radio station. This is the country that says that they are in democracy. But we, we not shame us. God will not shame us. So please, my people, please pray for Ibarium. Pray for all Biafran territories. We need prayers now. Our children are dying. Children, little children, they are dying. Please, they need prayers. I'm a Chukokikabi, I'm a grand internal rest to those who have departed. Please share this, this very uh, uh, live, live uh, broadcast. Please share it wide. Our people must wake up. Our enemies are living within us. They are living in our streets. They are living in our communities and they are within us. They are inside. They are inside us. We must fish them out in whatsoever we can. We must fish them. If not, they will keep killing us. They will keep killing us. And our numbers keep decreasing. Our numbers keep decreasing. Please, we need to identify all our enemies. They are within us. They are not far. They are within us. They are the people that are giving information out to the outsiders to come and kill us. So we need to fish them out. Thank you all.